Hello and welcome back again to my channel, the first room. Today I'm going to show you a nice uh, principle and knowing this principle you can go in right into uh, your own presentation and the principle is called uh, the spiral principle by what was it? Stephen Leithwaite, I think. And whatever, I will show you the trick first. Okay, you can start off by doing some shuffles. Then you cut the deck into four parts. One, two, three, and four. Now you ask the spectator to pick uh, two of four parts. <coughs> It doesn't matter which. Let's say they take these two and shuffle them together. And take the remaining other two and shuffle them together. And these two packets also together to complete a whole deck. Now you tell the spectator to take the top card, look at it, and remember it. And now uh, cut the deck rather deep to bury the selected card into the deck so that no one knows where the selected card ends up. And if the spectator wants, he can cut the deck several times, give them a straight cut. And when they are finished, you take the deck back and spread the deck, look through the cards. And instantly, you know that it was the Queen of Hearts. I know I didn't show you the card, <coughs> but believe me, it was the Queen of Hearts. And yeah, um, I can. It's better to go right into the explanation of this principle. Because if you know the principle, you can think of your own presentation and it will be much clearer for you. So you start off uh, with the four of a kind on top of the deck. Do some peripheral shuffles or overhand shuffles to retain the top stop, to retain the four of a kind on top of the deck. Okay, we still have the four, uh, the queen, the queens on top of the deck. And now, while you are um, cutting four packets, you are doing the halo cut, which looks like that. You do a you are doing a swing cut, but dragging off the one queen from the bottom along. All right. Then you end up with four piles, and they, uh, you ask them to do uh, to pick two packets and shuffle them together. But it has to be a riffle shuffle or another variation of, of the riffle shuffle like the Rosetta shuffle if they can't do a riffle shuffle you can do it like this which is an idea by Leonard Green you swivel the cards so they go into each other much easily okay the remaining two packets also together so Now, when you think about it, the four queens are were on each uh, of the four packets on top, and you riffle shuffle them together, and you know that the four queens are very near to each other, and one queen at least is on top of the deck. Let's see what queen it is. In this case, it is the queen of spades. All right. For explanation purposes, I will go through the deck and reverse the other three queens as well which are as I told you really near to each other on top of the deck alright the selected card is the queen of spades now you tell them to uh, cut the selected card rather deep into the deck they cut uh, three quarters of the deck Put the selected card into the deck and complete the cut. Now if they want they they can cut 
the deck several times, it doesn't matter. What you know, what you are looking for is uh, the queen, which is mostly apart from the other three of the queens. And when you spread the deck, you see these three reverse cards are the three remaining queens, and the last queen is here, and this is the selected card. So, you know instantly which card they selected. You know from the beginning it is one of the queens, and now you know it is exactly the queen of spades. And knowing that you can go into a mentalism trick, you tell them all, concentrate on your card, was it a black card, I see a picture, or I see a female, yes, was it a queen, queen of spades, yes it was. So, this is the spiral principle. Uh, it is based on uh, an idea by David Regal and this routine is also based on a trick called Red and Black, I think, by John Kennedy. And yes, I don't, I don't like the halo cut and I don't want to do that uh, four times in a row, or three times to be exact. So, you can do a milk shuffle. You cut off a quarter of the deck by dragging one queen with you. Right? And you achieve the same. On every packet, you end up with one queen. Or oh, another variation would be to do a face up uh, Hindu shuffle. But um, on the first shuffle, you are dragging one queen along. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Put it back, back up. Okay. Drag again. One queen along. Shuffle a bit. So. And you still end up with one queen on top of each packet. And you can, you can go straight into the shuffling sequence by the spectator, you shuffle, shuffle these together, and these together. And after shuffle you end up with a situation that all four queens are near to each other, or in this case uh, they are on top of the deck. They look at the top card, bury it, cutting several times, and you spread, go through which one is which queen is uh, the farthest has the far, uh, most uh, farthest distance to the other queens, and you know it is in this case the queen of hearts. This is the spiral principle. Have fun with it.